See if there's anything you need. We don't know when the next blow might land. Take care now. Before the assault on Moonrise Towers, the Archdruid at the time spoke to us all, inspiring our courage. He was a fine leader. The air stirs in trepidation. You have the ledger. To punish a murderer. If that is not enough, leave. I have no time for those lacking commitment. The Raven always knows. We have it. Her lies. Her guilt. Madeline reported her friends to a dark justicia and fled when they were butchered. Well, she flees no more. I will be the conduit for Madeline's spirit. I will force her to face trial. And you will be the judge. Make her beg. Make her suffer. There is no justice for traitors. Only pain. Witness. That I was going to be punished. That you'd be the judge. But I didn't mean to hurt anyone. I said it didn't mean nothing. That Ben and Mark were just drunk and whining. The Dark Justicia promised she was gonna chat with him. She promised! She gave him a dagger each and told him to press it against their stomachs on the count of three 
to start stabbing and not stop till she said so. She never said stop. I'd do anything to take it back. Anything. What I did was wrong, and I won't ever forgive myself. But hearing that just one person doesn't hate me, that one person forgives me, makes the load so much lighter. Thank you. You were supposed to make her suffer, not forgive her! That doesn't matter. I seek the guilty, the tormented, the anguished. You have crossed me. And for that, I end your pathetic life. judged and found wanting. Well, so much for peace. You picked the wrong thing. What to do? Ready.
time to rest. me at hide and seek. That's him. Like an echo of Thaniel, remolded by the curse. We need him if we're to put a stop to all of this. Will you play with me? Sport. I'm not going back. I like it here. I've made a family for myself. I get to play all the time. Yes, I do. You can't make me do anything. <laughs> I don't want to play with you anymore. He's fled. We need to track him down. Wherever the curse is the strongest, that's where he'll go. That's where he'll feel safe.
you can take me. Just leave me alone. Why can't I just stay here playing? I had everything I've ever wanted right here, and you've ruined it. I'm not leaving. You can't make me. Be gentle. He's much more than a child, but he doesn't truly know that. It shall be done. Nobody is making you leave. This is your home. But it is dark, empty, lonely. I don't want you to be alone. I want you to be with Thaniel. Why should I go back to him? He abandoned me. No. You were stolen from each other. Neither of you are to blame. And I know your pain. I truly do. Thaniel was my friend also. I played with him, grew up while he stayed the same. 
He made me who I am today. And then he was ripped away from me. Same as for you. But you need not be alone any longer. You need not invent friends. Daniel is back. He is waiting for you. Fine. I'll do it. It might be nice to be with him again. Bye. And thank you for playing with me. It's done, at last. Soon the land will be unshrouded. We should return to Thaniel when we can. while I was sleeping. He spoke of you. Said that you fought shadow and spite to restore me. A hundred years of sickness almost ended. I feel every root that riddles the earth beginning to unfold. But there is one anchor, still holding the shadows in place. The soul that brought it into being, for the land to heal. Ketherick Thorn must die. Oak Father preserve you. Honestly, I never thought I'd make it that far. But the Absolute is a threat to all, and I promised I'd help you with your parasite. So. I'll remain with you. If you'll have me, that is. So do I. But one duty at a time. Only by reputation. She was present when we marched against Ketherick Thorm, but on the far end of the battle lines from where I fought. And in the chaos that ensued, well, our forces were scattered. I led some to safety, but never learned of her fate. I'm glad to hear she survived. <laughs> Though in truth, I should not be surprised. She was always said to be formidable and cunning. I could have learned much from her, no doubt. No matter how long I live, I will always strive to remain a keen pupil. Only a fool would think he could drink in all knowledge until none is left. There is always more. Nature's tapestry is infinitely complex. I cannot help but wonder how she would have handled some of the challenges I faced as Archdruid. Would she have helped the refugees? Defended the Grove? Controlled Korga? At least now we can benefit from her presence, and perhaps work to a common goal. It's true, and I can't imagine I helped with that. Sometimes I let the task at hand consume me, and people think I'm obsessed. Trust me, the day I no longer have to talk about the Shadow Curse will be a happy one. What would you like to know? I am? <laughs> Trust me, it's been said. You show more restraint than most in avoiding the subject until now. Who's to say? <laughs> Perhaps there's a half-orc buried somewhere in my ancestry. Or perhaps not. Sometimes I think conventional wisdom is too narrow about what someone can or cannot be. 
Stranger things have most certainly happened. <clears throat> I had a friend when I was young, long ago. He played with me in the forests where I grew up. But eventually, I realized no one else had heard of him. It was Thaniel, of course. Nature was my very first friend. I get older, but he hasn't changed a day. I knew then that I had to be more than a companion to him. I had to be a protector. <laughs> You're not a doppelganger, are you? Trying to study me to learn all my secrets so you can take my place? <laughs> Save for me. My line perished a long time ago. They rest in High Forest now, near the shade of the Grandfather Tree. The Grove became my family, with Sylvanus as my teacher. And now I have you. It was a long time ago. The wounds don't heal, but they become more bearable. I suppose you wouldn't be shocked to learn I love animals and nature. <laughs> I, I know, I know. Well-trodden territory. Uh, well then, let's see. Um, I whittle in my spare time, and I've something of a sweet tooth. Although everyone's very amused when I say I like honey. I like what I like. Once you get to my age, you realize there's little point in denying yourself, so long as others aren't affected. Ornaments, utensils, and ducks. I like ducks. 350 years young. I've been privileged to watch saplings grow into mighty boughs. Thank me by returning the favor, why don't you? <laughs> Come on. I'm sure you've something better than carving wooden ducks. Well, they are fierce creatures from what I understand. But as long as you avoid the high seas, I think you can consider yourself safe. Anytime. Wherever you need me. I'll be right here in camp. Take care out there. You wish to consult me? These lands may not be under the thrall of Lady Shah for much longer. No matter. She wishes for Kethric Thorn to be punished. Her darkness was a blessing offered before he betrayed her. She can redirect her powers elsewhere once he is cast down. On one hand, they seem useful. But on the other hand, oh perhaps tentacle before long, we know where they're coming from, and what lies at the end of that path. I never expected Ceramorphosis to be tempting. I think we should resist these powers. There's simply too many unknowns for us to risk it. It's been known to happen. All right, some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble. <laughs> 